What's going on guys? This is the Red Rogue, and today's video we'll be doing a little preemptive change so we don't get bamboozled in the first week of Shadowlands. As you know, I am a professed add-on junkie. I talk about them in, like, every other video that I do, and I try to share as many things as I can about add-ons with as many people as I can. However, how can I share add-ons if they're not up to date? And with CurseForge moving away from Twitch, it makes it a little trickier to keep your add-ons up to date, doesn't it? Also, with websites like WoW Interface, CurseForge, and GitHub being all valid sources for add-on updates, it'd be nice if there was something that covered everything. Well, there is. So today, we'll be talking about WowUp, which is an exceptionally easy to set up program that can cover literally all of these websites at once and take care of your add-ons simultaneously. So the big reason I'm doing this video is because in just a few weeks, Shadowlands will be launching. And right around that same time, like a week later, the Twitch client will no longer have add-on support for WoW as CurseForge was purchased by Overwolf. While it'd be all well and good to just download Overwolf, which would be the new client you could use, there is a much more streamlined alternative available to us, which is WoW Up. This is an exceptionally easy to use program that has connections to several major add-on hosting websites such as CurseForge, WoW Interface, GitHub, and TuckUI. With this one program, you can update your add-ons from any of those sources and search for them from any of those sources as well. I'll show you folks how simple this is to set up too. First, we'll be going to wowup.io and then you can click whichever download source is appropriate for your operating system. The main difference I've noticed between the two Windows options is that the stable build is currently just a .exe file, or you can download the beta version which shows up as an application in your start menu which is what I chose. The UI is also a tiny bit different, but really not by much. So when you first install WowUp, it'll scan and detect add-ons you have currently installed. Mine did this fine for both computers I've set it up on so far, but for whatever reason, if it doesn't automatically due to you having them in a different folder than the standard interface add-on section, or if your WoW folder's in a different area on a different drive, then you can go to the Options tab at the top and select the exact path you want them to be sent to. Once it has found your currently installed add-ons, it'll give you various options if you right-click on them, such as Ignore, Auto-Update, Reinstall, and Remove. It will also show you where each add-on is being updated from on the right-hand side. So as you can see, most of mine are from CurseForge, but I do have a couple from WoW Interface showing up as well. In the top left corner, you can select between each version of WoW you currently have on your computer. So for instance, I have Retail, Classic, Retail PTR, and Beta that I can install add-ons for, and update for as well. You want to make sure you have the right version of WoW selected, of course, when searching for add-ons, as otherwise you'll be installing them to the wrong one. Speaking of searching for add-ons, we can also install new add-ons with WoWUp. To do that, you'll just click Get Add-ons, and then search for the name of whatever add-on you're looking to install. This is probably the only weak point of this program as of now, as there aren't any sections or a real graphical user interface to just go to the add-ons of a specific type like nameplates or spec-specific or class-specific things, so you kind of have to know which add-on you want to install. There is, however, a workaround to this. If you have a particular website you enjoy getting your add-ons from that is supported on WowUp, you can copy and paste the link to whatever add-on you are searching for on the main site directly into WowUp, and it'll import and install it for you. As an example, let's say I was searching around CurseForge and found a cool new add-on that I wanted to try. For this example, I'll just say it was like Trade Skill Master or something like that. So I decided I want to get it, and I just copy this URL here, go back into WowUp, and click Install from the URL, and then Import. As you can see, Trade Skill Master pops up here with an install option. The app mentions it only works with WoW Interface and GitHub, but I've tested it a couple times and it works on CurseForge as well. You could of course just type in Trade Skill Master once you know that's the add-on you want to install and it install that way too, but I thought this was a pretty nifty extra way of being able to install an add-on, like if someone shared a link with you that you could just slap in right away. The fact this program worked with several major add-on sites is pretty awesome in itself, but it is also quite fast and seems extremely lightweight and non-invasive of a solution for those of us who just want to be able to update our add-ons regularly. If you're searching for add-ons, it is lacking a bit in terms of giving you a general idea of what you're looking for, so I do hope they add some graphical interface or filtering options like that in the future. 
Overall, I would say this will be a great replacement for the Twitch application, which is going to be losing CurseForge support within like a week of the Shadowlands launch, which is right when every add-on breaks, basically. So I would recommend switching over to something different ahead of time so you can get used to it and start keeping your stuff up to date with something new. I personally am going to be using this one, so I recommend giving it a shot. I'll leave a link in the description as well as in a comment below. I hope this video was helpful to you, and if so, any likes, comments, or new subscribers are fantastic ways of showing your support for the channel. If you're new around in my little corner of the YouTube algorithm, then I'd like to welcome you to come check out the rest of the channel. I do new uploads every weekday on a variety of content, ranging from things like add-on videos, week aura videos, guides, tutorials, and of course plenty of rogue-specific stuff. I'd also like to take this time to thank all of my regular viewers, commenters, subscribers, and especially my patrons, who all help make these Shiba shenanigans possible. Thank you all so much for watching. This is the Red Rogue, and I'll see you guys around.